Big Z here with Side by Side Guys, and I'm joined with uh, G Porter from MTS Off Road. We are here in the actual service trailer that they take to shows. We are at Dunefest in Oregon. Uh, and I'm stopping by because we need to take a look at our shocks. Uh, we have a 2016 Razor XP Turbo that has the Fox shocks that came out in 2016 with the Turbo, and uh, they've never been touched. Kind of give us an overview of what you've seen and with other razors and what you've seen with my razor here today. Yeah, so typically uh, a lot of these cars, uh, for some reason, we see a lot of the XP cars go, you know, three, four thousand miles without ever being serviced, touched, no springs, you know, no nitrogen checks, and by then they're pretty shot. So when cars come in, they're complaining about the ride quality, uh, the sagging, tender springs are fully collapsed. Um, basically, what we do is our base. Uh, option for upgrade is a spring kit and rebuild and new seals, new oil. So <clears throat> typically that's where we start with these cars that are high mileage, you know, sagged out, have a lot of weight. Um, that's going to be your best, cheapest upgrade to start with that's underneath valving, but you still get, you know, a 60% uh, improvement over stock, I'd say. So some of the common problems with all UTVs, not just razors, is that the springs settle in right yes, after you buy them they settle in they have to be adjusted the right height has to be adjusted not a lot of people do that and then they go abuse them yeah. and that kind of destroys the shocks a little bit uh but if you do do that they do wear out over time yeah the seals wear out over time the nitrogen wears out leaks out seals yeah. go bad things like that and you have to really consider it a maintenance item yeah no they're a maintenance item we typically uh would say 2500 miles on Fox shocks 2000 miles on walker evans uh the walker evans they don't last nearly as long as the boxes do. Um, and the wear item in the boxes is the wear bands. Once the wear bands go bad, they have a, uh, it's a wearable material on them. Once that goes away, it's just metal on metal and it can destroy bypass tubes. You have metal, metal particles floating around inside, clogging up adjusters and just really making a mess of everything. Right, we're talking about a fluid dynamic system, right? That has yes, to slow sir. in and out and you can get those little particles, you get those little chunks. And ultimately, you know, you could suck at dirt and stuff like that if you're not yeah. keeping your car washed and yeah. and all those things. We see a lot of cars come in where the oil is black, like absolutely black. And it should be a reddish pink hue uh, from the factory from box. What so, makes it go dark like that? Uh, typically, it's just use, heat, um, you know, especially these shocks, they, uh, they don't flow very well from the factory. Uh, we have a lot of valving on the piston and the bypass tube, so they produce a lot of heat. And then just over time, through those heat cycles, the oil just life fades and suffers. And the dirt does tend to get in. You have a wiper seal that keeps all the dirt off from the shaft from preventing it from getting in. But after you get a certain amount of mileage, you know everything's tired. Seals are tired. Dirt gets in, and right. um, your shocks just aren't performing the way they're supposed to. And we talked about you know some of the common complaints about razors per se is the heat buildup in yeah. that area, right? You get the turbo heat, you got the yeah. caddy heat. Uh, all that builds up right around the shock, which itself is building heat. Yes, sir. And then it's get, it's not having a chance to cool off, so those it really cooks the oil inside the shocks. Yes, sir. So, so we have the car out front. It's being taken apart right now. Your guys are out there wrenching, pulling the shocks off the car. Uh, how about we jump into what we're going to do with those uh, shocks, or how how they come apart, what pieces we're going to put into it, and why, yeah. and uh, the difference we should expect once that's happened. Yeah. So what we're going to do is rip these shocks apart, do a full inspection. Uh, we're going to replace all the oil, clean everything, flush the shocks out, make sure all the dirt's out, and then do new seals, oil, um, any wearable parts or anything that we deem is unfit for reuse, we'll uh, replace. And then we're going to throw our proprietary springs on it and get Zach dialed in. Great. And you guys have a full history of testing and tuning and, and yes, data sir. to support uh, your spring weights and yes, your, your oil and your seals and all that stuff. Um, so we're going to rely on you to tell us what we need. We have a razor with, you know, a cage on it, not just a cage, but also an extension of that cage and yes, a lot of accessories and stuff. And that really does change the weighting of the, the shock rate, right? Yeah, you got quite a bit of weight and you have a lot of weight, uh, you know, taller, you have an aftermarket, you have uh, a stock yeah. cage and you have a root rack on the back. Roof, um, windows on front and back, yeah. a lot of glass, so, um, a lot of stuff to hold the car down but yeah. also throw it side to side yeah so we have a special spring setup that we've uh, hand picked for you that we're going to throw on that should uh jump up the performance of this car quite a bit and that and we're out the dunes today but this is not just a, a dune tune yes we're going to be going for a general purpose all around tune that can be great in the mountains on the trail here in the dunes and really kind of just bring life back into the car yes let's get to it
shocks torn apart. Um, we got them in order of how they came apart. We have your dust cap, uh, seal head, droop out spring, and then your compression rebound valving. We have these old reservoir caps here that are gonna, we're gonna replace with our Villa anodized Schrader caps. Um, we're gonna get these cleaned up and we'll be back for when we throw a new seal. through cleaned everything we're starting the assembly process um, one thing we noticed with Zach's car is that he had his reservoir caps were leaking out of this little hole right here um, what's behind this hole is actually a little rubber pellet that gets pierced by a hypodermic style needle to be charged uh, the only problem with that is after a little bit these tend to leak um, so we like to replace them with our own billet caps that have a tank valve in them um, that way if there's any shop that has a nitrogen bottle uh, without any specialized tooling, they can refill and recheck your shocks, uh, you know, before every season. Um, it's really important that your nitrogen levels stay at a certain PSI, uh, because if they don't, you get up cavitation in your oil, which then uh, takes away life from the rebuild on your shocks. So after you get these caps on, we're gonna fill the shocks full of oil, get them back together, put springs on, and throw them back on Zach's car. All right, so we just finished the install, the car. We took it out to the dunes, rode it through some pretty gnarly grass areas, up on some dune faces, uh, and uh, through some whoopee sections and whatnot. And right away, as soon as we pulled out of the parking lot, I could feel the difference. Uh, we had it let's set pretty soft. Yeah. Oh yeah. All um, it was pretty soft, and uh, it ate up all the chatter through the parking lot, through the dunes, all the way to where we went out testing and. Uh, it was a little soft at first once we got aggressive with it. Yeah. With all the weight up high on our cage, mm -hmm. it throws the car around a little bit. But uh, you stiffened it up and you rode it for a little while. What did you think? I thought it was pretty good. Uh, you know, there's still a ton of adjustment left uh, where we're sitting currently. So um, if you wanted to get two people in the car, add a little bit more weight, you need to get a little more aggressive. There's still, you know, I'd say 80% left. 
on the right because before we were almost all the way firm yeah. and still pretty soft yeah and so now with the new springs they're doing a lot more work on the car oh, yeah. when it's eating up the chatter and moving around so we don't have to worry about the valving having to overheat and overwork the shocks yeah uh and once we load it up with a cooler and another passenger and you know maybe some more accessories or whatever the case is yeah uh, we can get up at speed and not be so worried about it tipping over because it's eating versus pushing yeah yeah and you have crossovers now so you have some adjustment to uh give a little bit of a stiffer ride depending on the weight that you have or, uh how aggressive you're going to be cornering you know that bottom spring can catch and and, and keep the car level yeah. right so we're going to take it we're not necessarily the sand duners all the time yeah we're mountain guys so we're going to take what we've done here today and we're going to take it to the mountains onto our own trails onto our own uh, off-road parks uh not on sand pile tires yeah uh that are squishy but on nice firm knobbies and uh see how it does and we're going to report back and maybe get a little more in invested into uh what we're doing with the tuning uh but we hope you enjoyed this uh behind the scenes look at shock tuning uh what you can do with your older uh vehicles um if they're starting to wear out get squishy if they're starting to lose some of their handling characteristics uh shock tuning is really kind of where the first steps are replacing the oem springs getting into uh recharging your nitrogen replacing your burnt out oil our oil was pretty oh yeah it's pretty nasty so it kind of looked like an espresso shake yeah coming yeah. out the end of it uh so anyways we're gonna report back you obviously have seen what we've done here today uh it's a huge improvement right off the bat uh but uh come uh, over the next couple weeks months you're gonna see a lot more content uh about mts shocks about tuning about different options for your vehicle not just razors but can-ams and krx and all those different things uh, we're going to have a lot more information coming your way, so stay tuned. And until the next time, guys, peace.